This copyrighted telecast may not be reproduced, retransmitted, or used in any form without the authorized written consent of NASCAR Broadcasting. NASCAR would like to thank all of our loyal fans for your continued support, and we hope you enjoy today's broadcast. Hoo-ah! Hoo-ah! Under caution, for the first time tonight, Norm Benning had a tire issue, got into the wall. More on him in a moment. First, pit road is open. And if you have an opportunity to get tires at Texas, a hard hit for Norm Benning over in turn two. Oh, yeah. wow. That's yeah. the worst place to be when you blow a right front, right down on the bottom of the racetrack. And you can see how hard Norm hit, the, hit that outside wall. I hope he's okay. That kid has had some saves tonight. How many does he have in him? That was close there. Kyle Busch has regained the lead. Darrell Wallace Jr. settles in second. His teammate, Matt Kraft, in his third, as you see the replay on Tyler Reddick. Unbelievably oh, wow. sideways on the exit of turn two. Needed every bit of the room on that back straightaway to get that truck headed in the right direction. Keeping in mind, we're pushing 180 miles per hour, and it All looks right. like the 54 of Darrell Wallace up Jr. Corner, up in smoke. Stay up. Stay up. It well, led the up. most laps tonight and was right back stay in the championship up. hunt. And Taylor Malsum, who had just what gotten the free me? pass, got You're in the right oil, here. and he too goes for a ride. What a tough break for Bubba Wallace. So much momentum coming in here with that big win at Martinsville. And I'm telling you, that's, you see Jerry Baxter, and there's no, nothing they can do about it. How about the irony of this? Turn down right here, Bubba. Turn down right here. Matt Crafton said he had problems with his engine, came in with a championship lead. Ryan Blaney had problems, and now Darrell Wallace Jr. blowing his engine as you see some of the remnants of that power plant that went awry. It's amazing he was able to hold on to that truck without crashing it with all that oil out from the bottom. And heck, I know it's hard for him to even see. You could see sideways there is Bubba Wallace. Tough break, man. You could taste this chance for a championship. He was right there nipping at Matt Crafton, leading this racing, running up front. And away it went. I think there'll be a good chance that Matt Crafton will have some oil. Point two seconds. Jeb Burton is third, Timothy Peters fourth, and Joey Coulter fifth. Bush is now at 77 of our 137 laps tonight. You know, a couple of the things we talked about coming into this race were the fact that Matt Crafton has averaged, oh, trouble. Fifth caution of the night. It's gonna come out for the 05 of John West Townley and the 32 of Taylor Malsum going through the infield grass. And perhaps our, our jinx theory worked because we are going to get a late caution. And we are going to see. With 10 I think, to go. I think we're going to see. Gonna put some, tires on. Heck yeah, I was going to say, we're going to see some action on pit road as well. These teams will have to come and get tires. And that's everything we wanted, fellas. This, this race has had a little bit of everything. We've seen sideways trucks. We've seen some great three wide racing. A championship battle that looked like Matt Crafton was just going to put a stranglehold on here at Texas. And that hasn't happened. Ryan Blaney has fought his way back into contention. Saw so Taylor Malsum trying to make the pass to the inside of John West Townley, and when he did, was at contact with Justin Jennings there. It looked like Townley slowed for some reason exiting turn four. His truck lost speed, and he drove into the outside wall like perhaps it was a right front tire issue. It looked like it, but then the tire looks like it's up there, Phil. Yeah, but yeah all four tires look up to me. Not sure exactly what happened. Phil, I think that's going to happen right on the front straightaway. you got to lay back. you got to anticipate. This needs to be the best restart of the night for this young man. He's got a long way to go. Look at the jump Kroger gets. He chooses that outside there, lane. Out there. That's Hornaday down inside of him. Joey Coulter out of line, going to the inside of Mason Mingus and right up the middle, Kyle Busch already getting after it. He's picked up three positions as we go to turn two. Now Crafton got a bad break. Johnny Sauter's teammate pulled over in front of him. Three wide as they in at turn three. And Kyle Busch going to make it four wide. Look at that 51 in the outside lane. Goes from ninth to third in one lap as he goes underneath Max Gresham. Gonna four take him, laps to go. It's going to take him about one more corner for these front two, I think. Top two Tires trucks right seven. now from Red Horse Racing. But breathing down their backs, Kyle Busch. He dives to the inside to get Timothy Peters, no. and then will set his sights on the lead. Blaney blocking Crafton back there. That's our championship contenders racing all over each other in the back half of this top ten. Three laps to go this time. Big wiggle for Brennan Newberry. Right on your screen, you look at the drivers involved in the championship chase. Newberry trying to hold him off for his first career victory. What this about is the job that Carmine Caroga is doing? He's holding on on those old tires. He's keeping
keeping Kyle Busch at bay. See Kyle on the outside. Again, fresh tires on Kyle Busch. Wow. Ramon Kuroga driving that truck for everything it's worth. Everything it's worth. This is an amazing run for Kuroga. Saw him again for Johnny Sauter. He's sideways, front straight away. To the grass. Right. Comes out with two laps to go. Come on around here. I just, I, I'm telling you, Phil, the drop that Armand Caroga is doing, he's just wheeling that truck around this racetrack. Oh, he did. And we will illustrate time and again, these drivers not thinking about the championship. They are racing for success. When you talk about an opportunity to win the race, all three of our title contenders involved in that one. I'm not sure how Brennan Newberry was able to drive by Johnny Sauter. We see Max Gresham into the outside wall. Max lost his momentum, and Johnny just tried to make a move to the bottom, and Jeff Burton was there, ran out of room. That times making me nervous for him. Not only the tires, but for fuel as well. Kuroga chooses the inside lane. Green, white, checker finish here at Texas. Crossover move, Timothy Peters. Pushing <laughs> Kyle Busch in that outside lane. Kuroga's fighting back on the bottom. Kyle Busch clear off a of turn two. He's back in the race lead. Side by side, teammates for second. Kuroga and Peters. Right behind him, Joey Coulter. Jeff Burton is there. Matt Crafton getting after it in the high lane. Crafton making it three wide, trying to get a couple more spots. White flag is out. Next flag will end it. Kyle Busch, a mile and a half away from victory here at Texas. And they're three wide behind him, and that's Tyler Reddick down on the bottom. Out of trouble. There goes Kuroga into the outside wall, lifted his wheels off the ground. Caution is out. We'll freeze the field. Unbelievable. Did he just wreck us? Kyle Busch going to win tonight at Texas Motor Speedway. His seventh victory of the year, the 42nd in his truck series career, and the third time he's got Checker. the checkered job, flag Way here at Texas. Yeah, and it's the 12th win for that team this season, too. That's a record-tying win sure. for Way Kyle Busch Motorsport. Out, what an Good amazing job, year for Kyle Busch and that team. NASCAR will have to go back and look at the all the data, you see all the damage to Kuroga's truck. What a valiant effort, though, by Kuroga. Toyota will win the Manufacturer's Championship for 2014 here in the Truck Series, but uh, look at all the damage to... It's just so hard to take. He was so good, so close. The caution had to come out with two laps to go. He might It might have been a different story. He might have won the race at worst, finished second, but that was just battling late in the race he had on those older tires. There's Johnny Sauter. He's mad after this race. Dude, that's his That's his teammate, one of his teammates, Jeff Burton. I don't know. I, I think if Johnny sees the replay, he'll think he'll, he'll reconsider that. That's just a racing deal there. They were trying to. Johnny made a lane change, unless something happened after that. Jeff Burton unofficially comes home in second tonight. Let's go back to Jason. Was to get on the outside and race around Kuroga. This is an owner's worst nightmare when, you're, when your teams are, that you own both of, are mad at each other. So teammates having problems here in June over at Red Horse, and tonight the Thor Sport guys unhappy with one another, Johnny Sauter and Jeb Burton. There's a happy man. No worries for Kyle Busch. He gets the victory tonight, leading 80 of 152 laps. We've got full post-race coverage on the way right now to Los Angeles. It's Fox Sports Live. Ryan and Don, take it away. This copyrighted telecast may not be reproduced, retransmitted, or used in any form without the authorized written consent of NASCAR Broadcasting. NASCAR would like to thank all of our loyal fans for your continued support, and we hope you enjoy today's broadcast.